Well, we start in southern Gaza, where Palestinian emergency services have uncovered a mass grave in Khan Yunis. At least 180 bodies have so far been found buried inside the city's Nasser medical complex. The Palestinian civil defense says it's searching for more bodies. The Israeli military withdrew from Khan Yunis on April the 7th. Much of the city is now in ruins after months of relentless Israeli bombing and heavy fighting. Let's get more on this now with Hani Mahmoud. He joins us from Khan Yunis itself. And I understand, Hani, you're at the site there. Take us through what must be a very grim scene there first. Yes, Sammy, very horrific scene right now. And the Israeli military withdrew from Nasser Hospital on April 7th, leaving trails of destruction to all signs of life inside the complex itself, severely damaging all the facilities. But what's more shocking right now, the discovery of this massive grave, the largest one so far uh, in the city of Han Yunis, uh, right here at the courtyard, the southern part of the courtyard of the hospital where for the past three days, civil defense crew members and paramedics have retrieved 180 bodies of people who were buried in this massive grave by the Israeli military. These are the people, the bodies are removed, including elderly women, the children, young men, were all buried here. What's shocking as we talked with civil defense crew member is bodies that were inside of plastic bags, plastic bags that are, have Hebrew writing on them, but the bodies inside, they had their hands tied up behind their back. What looks like that they were executed and buried in this massive grave here at Nasser Hospital. Just within the past half an hour, we've seen a group of people coming here, crying parents and remaining family members searching for the bodies of their relatives and children and loved ones at this massive grave. The vast majority of the bodies are completely deceased to the point they are not recognized. Only few people were able to recognize some of the bodies here because of the of a body mark or because of the clothes that they are wearing. They were able to identify them. The vast majority of the 800, 180 bodies are largely deceased and are understandably, as we heard it from parents, would be taken to another massive grave until somehow they will come up with a way to identify them. Hani, you've mentioned there were elderly, they had their hands tied up, but what do we know about these people? Who were they? Well, so far, the unfolding events here at, at Nasser Courtyard Hospital in this massive grave happen to be very consistent with the testimonies we heard from medical staff at Nasser Hospital when the, when the hospital was stormed by the Israeli military. The nurses, the medical staff, displaced families and evacuees who managed to leave the hospital, who described horror scene inside the hospital where people were executed, also were grave that at the courtyard of the hospital were dug up by the Israeli military as it was searching for bodies of hostages inside the hospital. There are also bodies of patients and injuries as there are medical bandages and catheters still attached to the bodies that are being removed from, uh, from this massive grave. Uh, it just happened to be very devastating right now as these people who have gone missing within the past 20 days and since the withdrawal of the Israeli military, people have been sending appeals, trying to get hold of organization to help them identify the whereabouts of their loved ones, family members and children. And right now, they are here searching for the remains of these missing bodies. Hani, you mentioned there that some consistency with what medical staff have been saying does that mean there are eyewitnesses? Are people coming forward and able to say and talk about what they actually saw happen to these people? Yes, well, we talked to someone who from the vicinity of Nasser Hospital who described the scenes from the balcony of the building he was sheltering in, where he's, he was able to see Israeli occupation forces on the ground digging up 
graves at the courtyard of Nasser Hospital and inspecting them and then pile all of them together and put them in this massive grave. They're also the testimonies from medical staff who describe that people, particularly young people and injuries inside the ICU and operation rooms were dragged from the hospital when it was a storm and were taken outside. And up till now, their, their whereabouts is uncertain, is unknown largely. It is believed as they were, as they heard during they were, they were dragged from the hospital, heavy gunfire and loud gunshot that they were executed and buried in this massive grave. As I said, there are bodies who were retrieved from the massive grave with their hand tied to their back with Ziploc. All right, thanks so much, Hani Mahmoud, there in a very difficult situation. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.